I wanted to give a shout out to uh, Making Stuff and Breaking Stuff. Go check out his check out his channel. I'll put the link in, in the description below. He does versus videos all the time. He recently just did the the rigid uh, stealth stealth force, I think it's called, and it's actually a very powerful impact. So. All right, so today we are gonna test out the DeWalt Atomic Compact Reciprocating Saw. The model number for this is DCS369. It's a 20 volt system uh, and it is zero to 2800 SPM. And I think the travel is five eighths. So we're gonna need to tr try to use a six amp hour 20 volt flex battery. And we're also going to test out the 2 amp hour, or no, the 1.5 and the 2 amp hour. So, and it just so happens that two days ago, I have a huge branch from my tree that fell and it needs to be chopped up. So first we're going to test this out on a 2x4, time it, we're going to do a couple cuts, time it, see what it does, and then we're going to see how well this does against an actual real tree. There we go. We're going to try out the Milwaukee Carbide Blade. And we are going to try out the Diablo 12-inch pruning blade. So this one is going to be a, a good one. For the 2x4, we are going to try out the Avanti 6-inch uh, Pro. All right, guys, make sure safety first. All right, so we are going to start off with the 1.5 amp hour battery, 6-inch blade. All right, so let's see what this can do. Three, two, one, go. Right now, this uh, this was a brand new blade, and so that that cut it didn't cut it pretty straight. It because uh, of this, uh, how slow it was going, it was cable. Uh, it was just going a little wobbly. But that is the 1.5 amp hour battery. So next, we're gonna do a 2 amp hour battery. Full bars. All right, so let's see what it can do. All right, so three, two, one. Go. There we go. What we're going to do is we are going to test out the blade as well. This is the blade that this came with. Remember, if you're going to switch the blade out, take the battery out. All right, that is in place. Six amp hour flex battery. This looks like a bad man pajama. Let's see. All right, so three, two, one, go. And that's the time for that. All right, now what we are gonna do is we are gonna switch out this blade with the DeWalt blade that it comes with. All right, so three, two, one, go.
switch out to the 6 amp hour. We're going to skip the 2 amp hour. Let's go to the 6. We are good to go. So 3, 2, 1, go. There we go. Okay, let's try it one more time. I'm going to put a lot of pressure on it this time. All right, so three, two, one, go. And there we go. Let's actually blow that out. Alrighty, first we're going to use the blade the DeWalt came with. So, let's just chop up the branch and see what happens. so this is the last piece and I want to cut this with the 12 inch Diablo pruning blade so let's swap this out oh take the battery out first we are gonna time this see what it can do all right so three two one go Got it. All right, as you can see, the blade that it comes with, it's actually really thick. So it did a good job. This, people, you know, people bash the DeWalt's atomic line, you know, but this, it's actually a good, it's a good line. You know, it cut, if it cut this, all this stuff with a single battery, I mean, one charge, that, that's pretty good, so. I back up the atomic brushless line. This thing is cool. Not bad for a compact. Broke off right there because it did go over this way. And then it crashed right there. Alrighty, and the last thing we're going to do is we are going to make a cut with the Milwaukee Carbide Teeth Blade. Oh, that's actually warm. Two bars left still. This battery holds a good charge that lasts a while. Alrighty, so after doing, before we test this out, uh, I just want to read the temperature really quick. At this point of the tool is 90, ooh, 
104 degrees. This tool is warm for doing that job. But we got one more, we have one more thing in, in line. We are gonna test this really quick. All right, so three, two, one, go. I think that's actually the fastest cut. I think that's the fastest cut since the beginning of the test video. Wow. Not bad. Not bad. See now, like I said outside, people, I do not know why, but people are, are against the atomic line, which to me, this did a fantastic job. You know, I... I did what this isn't designed for because that branch, most of that would be done with a regular, with a full size reciprocating saw, but this did the job flawlessly. Yeah, the, the tool is a little hot, you know, but, oh, it's a tool. Oh, well, it, it gets hot. So, but this thing did, uh, it did a fantastic job. Now, I'm not going to lie, I do wish Ryobi made one of these and uh, just to compete with the competitors. Uh, maybe one day they will. But yeah, this thing, it's a it's an awesome little compact reciprocating saw. I'm, I'm glad I got it. Seeing just that little, see now instead of being 106 degrees, now it's 80. Just by doing that a few seconds. There we go. We have a tool that looks brand new. So that's pretty much it for this episode. Plenty of videos coming up. Demonstration videos of all brands and uh, versus videos. And uh, I will be adding a Christmas intro in a couple of days. And so that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.